<laughs> Good morning. Welcome to our channel, VNB TV. I'm Bob the Veteran. And I'm Heather the Blonde. We have a new one for you guys today. We are not doing an MRE right now. We have tons to try though, so stay tuned. We are doing a breakfast skillet. Mm, super cold. It's also morning. We tend to do a lot of these in the morning, so breakfast works. Mm, look at that by the campfire. As you guys cannot see, it has been snowing outside really bad. I thought we could get a cool visual so you guys could see the snow. Didn't happen. So, I will show you a picture of what the snow looks like in our backyard right now. The lighting was too bright with all the white, so we could not get any view from the kitchen. But I'll show you a cute picture of Toby when he was full covered in snow. Mm, look at that. Look at, look at that handsome, handsome boy. He's in the snow. We got like four to six inches. It was pretty crazy. We definitely were not ready for it. We were not thinking we were going to get this much snow. It snowed all yesterday. Here's like a backyard shot. You guys would have had kind of this angle. If you could, you can't. But we are freezing cold. It's supposed to be like negative tonight. Yay. You might see another frozen water video. We'll see. But in the meantime, we are going to try some of this. We're going to do some hot foods. We're going to cheat since we are doing a freeze-dry type meal. We are going to try it with some Russian products because we still have some Russian MRE stuff. So I got some Russian juice. I think we have tried this once before, I think. It's like just cherries, maybe an apple. What, what do I have here? He has a tea in one bag, and then he has a white bee in the other. And we're not really sure. We learned that the white white bees and the green white bees meant something different. We had two whites, so these could be for cleaning utensils. <laughs> we'll see. But we're using Russian products today with this. So it kind of gives us a full video for you guys to see. So I'm trying juice. He is trying tea. He can show you the bag after he gets his tea bag in there. Oh, he can show tea. There you go. Look at that. Looks good. He likes tea. He's going to use his cup I am using from my mom as a cool Christmas present. Awesome glass with a big H on it for Heather, the blog. So it's awesome. I'm going to make my juice in this so you can see it. Bobby is doing his veteran cup, so it's perfect. All right. It's my tea. It's tea. In we go. And this breakfast is thanks to Cody, great friend. He spoiled us with a whole bunch of freeze-dried food to try. We're super excited. So you guys will see a few of those coming. They're easy to make. And right now there is hot water and they're boiling. I also took a picture. So I will show you guys about now in the video. I'll piece it in so you can see what it looked like before I added the water. Um, to describe it, it looked like chunks of dried egg. Maybe some dried potato. Not sure. Ooh. No sweet, fruity. Yeah. We'll see how this one. This one's really like rock sugary. Let's see if you guys can kind of like see that rock sugar kind of look to us. If I move it around, maybe. You guys can see the rocks and chunks in there. All right. We're going to add some maca. One thing about the Russian tea is it becomes tea quickly. You don't have to leave the bag in there for a day and a half. It's it's ready to go right now. Probably so if you were on the run and on the go, you could just kind of... If you were on the run, you'd want it right now. Not you'd make it hour. fast. You can quickly drink it, get on with your day, your mission. Let's see how this color. So it is turning into a pretty color juice-ish look. I believe we have tried this, but I can't really remember. We tried so many juices. Yeah, you can kind of see. Is some it, of these really have problems mixing. Is up. it orange? I think it looks like it has a cherry and apples on it. I don't technically see an orange. But you know, the fun of it is, it's not in English. I can't read it. Like, what does that say? Can y'all help us? What kind of fruit is that? Does it say a fruit? Sorry, the lighting. That sun and the snow are kind of kind of looks like an apple and juice though that pretty color good tea good tea let's see still smells like juice 
Mm. I don't really get apple. I'm not really sure what I get, but it's fruit. It's fruit. Try some of that. It's not bad. It's not dull. And this smells like eggs. Yeah. Kind of give you guys a little, a little view. Let's see. I'd rather have the tea. There's like, can you guys see it? It's like it's supposed to be like an egg chunk. It's really, really bright. It smells here. good. It's getting there. It is getting there. Can I give it a little stir? I don't know. It is chunks of stuff though. It is chunks. Uh, All right. Good tea. Good tea. Refill this. Make it work. So what we also have, which we will open and try. Toby is joining. I'll have Bobby open this and let us try what this. What else have you sure. got over there? Since we knew this was going to have to cook, it says it cooks eight to ten minutes, which is cool. So if you were camping right now, you just add boiling hot water. You reseal the bag, which is great. So you could save it. It says it's for two servings. Two servings. And it cooks in eight to nine minutes. So if you were camping, that'd be awesome. But since it's so cold, we thought we would try a few other Russian products while we were waiting. This one is one of their hot pads. So you open it and it's like a warmer. I love using these. I need them. I like ones that stick to you. So we are going to open this and see if it heats up. Same while this is heating up. As you can see, my dog has rejoined. He loves these videos and loves joining. And then we have tried this before. I did not like it. I'm hoping maybe with eggs, maybe I will. But it's supposed to be like Russian ketchup, I guess. Ketchup? Russian ketchup. Well, since we're doing eggs and a hash brown, I kind of like tea, you fool. Maybe it's suiting. So we're going to try some of this with the eggs. I'll have Bobby to open this. He'll try the hand warmer. He doesn't usually use hand warmers. That's more of a meat thing. Mm. We're not eating this. Huh? We're not going to eat it. Right. We will try it, though. Yeah, it's really, really yummy. So crazy, too. You almost can't even see the lettering with the foam. I'm struggling. Look at that. Mm. Almost looks like a beer. Mmm. I've never seen a brown one. Whoa, it's already, like, kind of feeling warmer. Yeah, like, ours are usually white that we have. This one's crazy. It's brown. How do you activate it? The ones that we have here, you just shake them, and then shake. the air... The air touching it kind of makes it react. So I'm guessing that'll be it. We will see. We're going to try this. And this is close to ready. I think it's only maybe a minute or so away. But your tea is good? Tea is excellent. I'd say read us what you're you're looking at. But I can't. <laughs> I can't. What is different, I'm noticing by feeling this, because I use the other ones. Ours are really smooth, like you don't feel anything. I can feel rocks in here, like there's like hard beads. Like feel like right there, you can feel like a bead. You kind of feel like balls. And it's getting warm. It is getting warm too. But yeah, there's like totally like a ball in here, guys. You can feel it heating up. Like it is pretty quick. Sometimes the ones we have, you can have them for like 10 minutes and they're not working yet. But yeah, I feel that. Look at those good. It's warm. I love those. They really do help outside. I totally forgot the mystery pack again. I am Toby's already ready. He's like, bring it on. I don't know. I really think this should be like pan seared. It looks like it should be pan seared. Come on, take two. We're going to pan sear this, I think, or pan fry this. Bobby, turn Charlie. So we're not ready yet. Return Charlie. All right, so we are back for round two. I don't know if you guys can fully see it. We have brought out the stove. We are going to pan sear this. I think it will be a little yummier if it gets a little better of a crunchy kind of a cook. It looks a little too mushy. And since Bob is a picky eater, I really want him to like this, and I think he would. So we are going to kind of do a little pan cook right now for you guys. Like we are on a campfire. It is freezing cold. You guys can't fully see it. Sorry. Let's see. Mm. Wait, wait. Okay. Ooh. Oh yeah. We love this little fire. We actually broke up the fuel tab. So it's not 
a full, full chunk. And if you want to cook, this is the way to do it. This really warms you up, too. If you were, like, literally somewhere cold, this fire works like a charm. This stove and the little heating element in the pan, mm -hmm. it will cook. Yeah. You can see that we're already... Having a nice size fire. We didn't even use a fuel, full fuel tab either. That's kind of crazy. I know. Both of them caught. Ooh, it's hot. It's hot. Do you guys see a fire? Now what, what, is, what is this here? Eggs. There's eggs, hash browns. Hash browns. There's some sausage, which as you guys might know, I'm a vegetarian. So I'm not really a sausage person. And truthfully, I also don't eat much eggs. If I eat the egg, it's you usually egg white. Egg white, usually. Ooh, it is cooking. That fire, though, it looks crazier than it did the other day. And we used the less of a fuel tab. It's kind of scary. Look at that cook. Whoa. Scared to lift it right now to see what the fire looks like. Oh, yeah. it. What do you think? Left it. Oh, it's cooked. You think that looks oh, good? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at those. This thing really does cook. All right, we're going to lift it and see what is going on. Oh, boy. Look at that. It's bigger than it was the other day. Oh, boy. <laughs> good grief. We even cut that into pieces. <sighs> I don't even have strong enough lungs for that one. All right, we're gonna try some eggs. Oh, and then Toby, he's like, I, I hear they're ready. All right, so we're going to kind of pick them out to be a little better for the bob, so I make sure I don't give them any peppers, but I'll give them some nice chunks of some sausage, the eggs, no peppers for him. Smells like egg. Okay, that's good. And then we do not have salt and pepper, sorry. Oh, I should have grabbed the Russian salt and pepper. We do have some of those left. All right, so I'll show you guys what it looks like. Once I scoop some for me. There's like a cool chunk of an egg, though. Look at that. Look at his little bite. Look at the steam. The steam is intense. All right, so here you guys can kind of see. Look at that. Look how hot it is. So there's like the chunk of egg. I think that's the sausage on the end. It's on fire. Look at that. What do you think? You were hungry. Mm. Mm -hmm. I suppose it's a good way to start your morning if you're outside and you're cold and hungry. Look at that. This would warm you up. Some of it though. Mm. Oh, that was hot. No, mm. what do you think? Mm -hmm. It's not bad. They really mashed it. Like, I thought there would be a little more, like, potato chunks, kind of. But, yeah, you can see fully the chunks of egg. Like, that's a full chunk of an egg. Oh, egg. Show the mm -hmm. cover, though. Mm -hmm. See the happy campers there eating? They all look thrilled. There's no snow, though, in their imagery. We have snow. I'll show you a piece of a sausage. So that's like, there's the sausage. A little chunk. Mm. Try some of this Russian ketchup. Or at least, I'm pretty sure that one word says tomato. <laughs> ketchup. Not bad. We'll see. I might not be able to open this, actually. Maybe we're not trying any of the ketchup. Not bad, dear. No, it isn't too bad. How'd you think of the sausage? It would taste good on a piece of toast if you could dump the whole thing on a piece of toast. <laughs> but it was, it's good. I have no problem with it. I'd eat this again. I can get it open now. So sad. Moving on the table. Then my fork can go through it. Ooh, the fork worked. Kind of. Well, yeah. Can you get enough to squeeze it out? Ha! Oh. <laughs> it's 
So this is like what we're thinking is Russian ketchup. This is know. Russian? I think so. Sm oh, yes. Smells like ketchup. It does smell like ketchup. So, yeah, I think that's Russian ketchup. All right, so I'm going to try some a little... I kind of... It went everywhere all over my plate. Kind of splooge, so you guys can kind of see. Look at all that splooge. But we'll try a little bit of... Russian ketchup. I mm, some Russian ketchup. It's going to be like a lot, I guess. I don't know. Can't be worse than the hot diggity dog hot sauce. Okay, a little bit. A little bit. That's a lot. That's a little ballsy for him. Is it hot? Not spicy, no. Tastes like ketchup? Kind of. It's like a little sweeter, almost. Like I'm getting something sweet in it. Not like salty ketchup. <laughs> you had a big bite full. Oh. He took a huge bite. Isn't it kind of sweet, though? It's got, it's got a little pucker factor right in there. <laughs> mm. I thought it wasn't bad. I think it's, I can't remember the brand, I kind of ripped it out. I think it's Mountain, Mountain House. Mountain House. I kind of like this. Kind of fluffy. I am actually getting, though, a couple crunchy things in here. Maybe that's like the potato. It's not turkey loaf good, <laughs> but it's good. I told him we can do a video and try the turkey loaf. <laughs> From when was it? 1965? 67, 68. Yeah, 67, 68. That's a long time ago. Mmm. <laughs> yeah. That's really good. This reminds me more, though, of, like, a bar barbecue ketchup. Mm-hmm. Okay. I do like this. Needs toast. We need toast. I know. He already ate his toast. I was thinking you should have ate some with it. Mm-hmm. A little Tobit, do you want to try a little eggy? Tobit likes eggies. Give the He force. doesn't get much people food. I'm trying really well. Come here, Bubba. Let's see. Show them what you think of the eggy. Oh, that that was it. That was a very uh, short of answer. What do you think? Was that nummy? Want a little bite of an eggy? Let's see if we can find another little piece. I'm not gonna give him the sausage. I don't. I'm not gonna give him the sausage, but he can try some eggs. What do you think of this one? Ooh. Tell me what you think. Was that yummy? Do you want to eat it again? Yeah. Tobias likes it. He enjoys the snow too. He's he's psychotic. Oh, it did good. He's doing his finger for me. Thank you. No for me. Oh, right there. Yeah, I'm going to try some of Bob's tea. This is really good, though. I actually like the egg. Let's try some of this tea. He actually did really good on the tea. I gave him, like, this much water, and it's, like, down to here. Eggs were good. Tea was good. It's not I bad. I the tea's better than whatever that was. It's okay. It doesn't taste like my lawn, so <laughs> that's a plus. What I don't understand is it looks like you have three different characters for the same letter. You've got what looks like an N next to it, looks like an N. Or a pie symbol. And then another one down here looks like an N. They... A backward. <laughs> cool though. They are warm. It's not like as hot though as some of ours get. Like ours can get on fire. You can't touch them. I think, what did it say, too? It lasts, like, three hours, I think. Well, not like we can read it, but I'm pretty sure this thing at the top is saying it lasts for three hours. The ones I use are, like, ten-hour packs or eight-hour packs. But three, it's cool. And they gave us a few, so that's awesome. But, yeah, these things are warm, as you guys could tell. I really like the eggs. I can't stop eating them. I know. Look at him go, you guys. Like, you're going to watch a clear. Oh, look good. at him chow. They're really good. Can you sit for me? You said, Bonnie, you must see it.
No more for Stobie. No way for my eggs, you fool. Sit down. That was all Toby got right now. Sit. Oh boy. Sit with us. That's really good. Look at him go. So impressed. But thank you so much, Cody, for getting this for us to try. It was yummy. Also, for all of our Russian products that we had left over, they were pretty good, too. I'm down with the juice. Bobby likes his tea. Works out for both of us. Yeah. Mm hmm And our new awesome cups. Thanks, Mom. Love you. Take cup. But we hope you guys enjoyed watching us do a little mini breakfast freeze-dried food. We have some more MREs coming to show you guys. We have a whole bunch. U.S., and we have Russian, and we have British... So stay tuned, like, comment, subscribe, let us know another country you want to try, or a food, or a freeze-dried food. If you have something you want Toby to try, comment below, maybe he will or can. But take care, stay tuned. Bye. Bye.